What's going on everybody? Little Mail Day. So I picked a card up that's PC. Um, I don't really collect the player, but I've been holding his stuff and just due to being a Hall of Famer and pretty much looking for the perfect kind of like autos of this guy has been very, very hard. I'll explain more into it. So I have no problem showing my address on here is a P.O. box, but I did buy it from Probstein. This went off Tuesday night, right before it turned O oh, Dark Wednesday 30. Paid for it. They shipped it out same day, priority mail insured. So they did a very good job packaging it up. Um, we're going to open it live here. Live, live, live. Well, live for my video feed type deal. But this also just to make sure, because I've seen people say they've gotten the wrong card in the mail and everything else, and that would just be... A horrific way to end this week. Because I've been looking forward to this card every day, tracking it. Heck, I barely slept last night. Oh, they got button bubble wrap. Let me get this pulled out. Ugh. Alrighty. Nothing else in the box. Old breaker habit, I know. Bubble wrap. I always appreciate the extra because I use it. All right, they they did a good job packaging it. All right, it's the card I thought it was. So I'm gonna put this up over it here. We're gonna do a slow reveal because yes, it is getting this case. Urgh. So again, pick this up. By far, it'll probably be on my display for a while until I actually decide to put it away for a long time at my shows. But it's going to be more of an item that I'm also going to use showing that I'm buying stuff like this. Just something different. Alright, you guys ready? PSA. Authentic graded. Five star. Hank Aaron Cut Auto. I really enjoyed seeing this come up. I missed it the first time. The guy had high feedback, didn't pay for it. I came back in, took it out, and now it's going to be forever in my possession. I can tell you that now. It would take a huge, stupid, insane, crazy offer to get this away from me. Um, as you guys know, Hank Aaron did pass away, but his, his autograph became worse and worse over time. Lost us not on card. Grand, this is kind of like a little bit going off the edge here and stuff. But I really think it's cool because he actually printed his name onto it and everything. I don't know what it's off of because there's some markings down here too. But really, really happy of this. Um... You know, a lot of stuff that I've been selling from the shows and stuff all point towards this. Uh, piece and I really like I said I only buy a few pieces that's really for myself each year there we go that's better and this is just one of them if I am correct this is the first cut autograph of him out there um, I'm going to take it they're not going to be producing these like Gary Carter ones and stuff where they're out of five uh, 50 10 whatever in the products they're high popular or High populated cuts. Try not to sneeze, guys, because it's. An, I don't want to start the video over again. It was out in the old pollen. But if you look at some of this stuff, like Ralph Kiner has tons of autos. I think with this, if they only do a couple cut autos a year, then his stuff's going to be more and more sought after. Um, but again, if you're out there looking for this, it's now locked up in the old extreme. But yeah, I'm going to put it on display for the next at least three weeks until I do the uh, stuff. So if you guys come by the show and see it, it's not for sale. But it's going to give people ideas if they got bat knobs and stuff like that there. And I'm a buyer on to it. Got its old little case it's going to go into here. But that's it, guys. Hey, appreciate you all watching it. This this made my week. Made my week. Piano will pick up this piece right here. All right. Take care. Have a good one. I'm off to Salem in the morning.